right, we're here today in Dungeons, we're going to be playing through the campaign, uh, showing how to get all the um, challenges complete in each of the different levels. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the uh, first mission, a new campaign, which uh, doesn't really have any challenges or isn't quite so much like the other missions, but for the sake of completionists. I have to hurry and warn my master before it's too late. As usual, he'll be sitting on his crystal throne in the lower level, doing nothing. <laughs> right then, off we go now. Hmm, how did that go? I'd better have a look in the manual. Hmm, I can't understand a single word of this senseless chatter. Whatever. I have to find the stairs down. All right. So this is going to kind of take us through the um, like first person mode or well third person mode technically. All right. So we're just walking through the dungeon right now. <laughs> Don't these tunnels ever end? Talk about walking yourself to death. For the life of me, I'll never understand why heroes always want to visit our dungeons. <laughs> if I were a dungeon lord, I wouldn't have to waste my time running around like this. <laughs> but my time will come. <laughs> I could keep getting lost in these damn tunnels, although it's just one long passageway. All right, so this is talking about opening up our map so that we can kind of see everything that's going on. This is basically like the tutorial, but since there's uh, some telling of the story here, I figured I'd... Wonderful! I finally reached the Master's dungeon! He can only build things here in his own area of influence. Everything in this area belongs to him, no matter who built it. <laughs> so, another look at the manual... What? Damn! I could have had a better overview all along. Apparently, there's been a spell on me the whole time. Well, it's time to put an end to that, let me tell you. Okay. So basically, now it's kind of talking about opening up our skill book with B and how we can move skills from there down to our hotbar here. I'm going to go ahead and use this one, the eyes of the Lord. And that puts us in the uh, main ah, strategic overview. Now that's what I call an overview. And uh, see this red line? That's the area of influence that dude was talking about earlier. And can I get to more of the purposes ah, of that later? Good. There are the stairs heading down. All I have to do now is use the lever beside the gate. I'd have a closer look at the thing, but the manual says something stupid about selecting things with a mouse. And I have absolutely no idea what they're going on about. Alright. So this is just talking about how we can interact with objects by right-clicking on them. Your faithful servant is sure to reach you soon. Alright. Now we're going to the second part of the tutorial. Ah, and done! Master, I, your faithful servant, Mr. Psychic, wish to warn you. Your treacherous, devious, Girlfriend Calypso is planning to overthrow you. So, is that what I'm planning? Um... I'll leave you alone with your little toy, Honeycakes. I have to look after my dungeon. Master, I'm heartbroken. Obviously, I was misinformed. Please forgive me. 
Looks like a succubus. <laughs> Alright, so just kind of can look around here. You have master. I was right. That treacherous Calypso opened all the entrances to the surface and lured countless heroes into the dungeon. Attack! Oops, how clumsy of me. I do hope you can deal with this plethora of heroes, dear, for otherwise you'll lose your throne and then I'd be forced to move up. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's over between us. Master, it looks bad. I'm afraid you've already gotten a bit rusty. <laughs> I will try to outline to you briefly how it works. Unlike some keepers, dungeon lords such as yourself, Master, are very interested in seeing heroes stream into their dungeon. For not only do heroes carry gold with them, they also collect soul energy. But they only collect the latter when they're enjoying themselves. It is therefore imperative for us to first satisfy those heroes, and then cut them down. <laughs> Pretend the heroes are like little pigs. We cherish and feed them until they become happy and fat, and then... <laughs> ah, well, you know. By the way, Master, your buddy, Diablo, works exactly the same way. He throws the hero whatever scraps they need to amuse themselves, and sends them just enough monsters to ensure that they have an exciting but survivable struggle. Okay, maybe he hasn't quite gotten the knack of cutting the heroes down at the right moment. <laughs> and usually ends up losing out in the end. <laughs> but hey, let's face it, you are way more competent than that Diablo. In this particular case, the pigs are in the majority and uh, heavily armed. So I would suggest we make a uh, strategic withdrawal. Build as many prestige gimmicks as possible. This will make you more powerful and help us to escape. We should hurry. We need to reach a different level before someone manages to destroy your dungeon heart. Alright, so it took a while. <laughs> uh, dude was basically talking about all sorts of different things. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Um, obviously, Diablo might know what that is. Um, he's referencing Diablo 2 and the original and the new one. But um, the other one when he's mentioning the Keeper, if you've ever played a game called Dungeon Keeper, um, that's what he's referring to. Um, and they actually kind of bring it up a lot. And, uh, from the sound of it, sometimes it kind of like just shit on the <laughs> Dungeon Keeper too. Um, so you got all these different uh, prestige gimmicks. Now, um, basically, these are just objects that, like they said, um, raise this number by building them, which takes up solar energy here, and just kind of place down whatever. You can build the really expensive stuff, so you can do this quickly. Excellent work, Master. I think you should now at least be strong enough to escape. Those are the stairs we need to reach before your dungeon heart is destroyed. We have to go through this gate. It can be opened using a lever in the vicinity. So, get a dude off the chair, and just start moving him. You see there's these heroes here. You can mess them up. You probably want to kill them so they don't all gang up on you at once. 
Alright, and basically, um, you know, what he's talking about, you basically power up, uh, from building more prestige gimmicks. Um, that's how you unlock new stuff for your dungeon. Alright, I'm trying to find... Let's use a map here. Alright, I believe... That's where we need to escape. Yeah. Let's run past this guy. And her too. Sometimes if you get far enough away from them, you can actually uh, get them to lose interest in us. Actually, you don't have to worry too much about health in this one. This is technically you're really powerful at this point. I shall destroy this evil. Alright, he just keeps healing himself. Now let's try to kill him. Just stack all of our spells. There we go. And a quick way to do it is to work, uh, Master. Now there's almost nothing in our. I was gonna say it's easier to. Uh, cast spells on guys by selecting them first. And having to click the spell and then target each person. it. Master, we made it. We escaped. However, I'm afraid you lost your throne and are no longer prince of the underworld, but rather simply a dungeon lord in the catacombs again. But fear not, master. We will soon have you back on your feet, and then we will carve you a path back to the throne. And then, well, of course, we will take our hideously cruel revenge on Calypso. <laughs> but before we can do that, you will first have to gather new strength and power. Let us plunge the land into chaos and distraction. <laughs> Calypso has betrayed you, but she won't be on your throne for long. Recover your strength and exact your terrible revenge on her. Hmm. Yum yum, Phil. Alright, now you can see we're kind of um Christian done throne. with um this was you a tutorial. Are here. The undisputed Dark Lord of the Underworld. Anyways, now we can start picking uh, out the different missions on the map. And this is going to wrap up this first video.